I was thinking, there are a lot of, like, for something that's not affiliated with the UC, there's a lot of UC guards alone patrolling around here, and not many other people. I don't necessarily buy it that they're non-affiliated. Sarah! Your service, Captain. Thank you, Vasco. Cute little boy. Who is this guy? I saw him earlier. By the way, this is definitely the Beagle. It's a model of the Beagle. I checked. That's what it looked like. Same. Sh it's the same style of ship in any case. Which is, of course, Darwin's uh, ship when he went to uh, the Galapagos Isles. Don't know why that stuck in my brain for a second. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. We've already discussed this. I still can't find them. That might be Cook. I can't tell. 18th century, that's definitely Royal Navy. Where is Sarah, by the way? Anyone know? We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's floating. That's that's about as uncharted I as it gets. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Have you checked it for radiation? That would be the first thing I'd do. Get a Geiger counter out here. Let me know if I can help. How I can help you learn more? Well, right now nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Yeah, in theory. Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. By all means. I can I can do some of that organic stuff. Got it. How would organic resources help with le help with learning about the artifacts? Maybe she just wants to learn about random stuff. Might not be about the artifacts. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. Okay. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay pretty well too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Deal. I've apparently got some organic resources for you, do I? Anything I can learn from is a help. What have I got? Here, you can have this nutrient tissue. I suppose. And it can be used as a crafted component in crafting. Here, you can have one sealant. All right, there yeah, I can sell Stay her safe, stuff. Okay. I suppose she pays the best for those sorts of things. Toxins and the like. I want to see what I can craft with them first. Oh yeah, I did look in here. Actually, speaking of which, talking about crafting, I like closing doors behind me. Excuse me. Let's just do that. I don't know where Sarah is at the moment, but what I'm interested in. Check the research lab. I've got some materials these days. See, I've got... No, none of that. The only thing I don't have is adaptive frame. I've got enough for the rest of this. Hold on, I have to get used to this... Um, ooh, decoration. Fiber... It's the one I have. I don't have structural or ornamental. See, I want to do. I want to do furniture and decorations at the outposts. When I start building those. Oh, I can do this one. I think. Robots one. Discover how to construct the garden mini box, sanitation mini bot, and engineering robot at outposts. This is all for outposts. I've got. No, I haven't got enough for ta for helmet mods. I need to pick up cosmetic. What does that mean? And polymer. Nothing's full. Receiver mods. All of these would be great. Okay, sealant. There's so many materials in this game. I'm going to have to figure out how to actually, like, organize that. 
Let's just look at all of these. What's in the industrial workbench? It allows you to create basic manufactured components which can be used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used for manufactured components can be acquired from planets and moons, starting and by and moons by starting an outpost and setting up resource extractors. For more advanced manufactured con uh, components, can uh, be created from fabricators and an outpost. I can make adap adaptive frames. Which I needed for one of the research things. Uh, an item in crafting and austenitic manifold. Which requires nickel, reactive gauge, and iron. Okay, before I make anything, let's look over here. Spacesuit workbench. Deep space mining spacesuit. I can input certain things like ballistic shielding on my spacesuit. I don't want to mod this one. I'm not going to be using this one for any extended period of time. I can't change the skin. The helmet? No, nothing. I've got a lot of stuff to pick up. And the constellation pack. See, I'm, I'm low on polymer for that one. An oxygen reserve. Mag pressure tank. And I have Constellation Skin or the Default Skin, which is installed. The Constellation Skin is slightly chromed. Confirm. Might as well. Uh, balanced Boost Pack. Zero G Gimbal, Zero Wire, Mono Propellant, and Micro... <laughs> There's a lot of, like, components and materials and elements and stuff. Uh, weapon Workbench. I'm just getting, like, my head around all this. Let's start with the modified Equinox. I mean, I've already got the mod for it. Laser. Laser sight, no. Muzzle. I might just buy mods if I can. I can make a removed cover, which will reduce the accuracy, somehow increase the value. And increase the mass and lowers accuracy while increasing aiming speed. That's the cover. Magazine and battery installed is the only one I can do. And internal, I can overclock it or give it some precision tuning. Oh, there's a lot actually in there. The skin? No, I don't like the constellation. That looks like a video game console. I can actually move from fully automatic to semi-automatic, and that actually reduces the value, increases the accuracy, and increases the damage to 13 per shot. Stealth lasers. Barrel's still standard. I can't put a long barrel on this. Laser. Recon laser sight. That all takes things. Tactical grip. I'm not sure that that feels like that looks like a fat grip. I can actually put this in titanium and sealant That would Lighter grip that increases AMD ADS speed reload speed and stability seems like there's no reason not to have this then if I can make it Let's actually install this No, oh, I need research for that never mind Okay I got excited there for a second. Pharmaceutical lab, I could presume I can make, like, stims and such there. Right, well, there's something that needed frames. I think it was decorations. No. This one. Simple fabricators, small warehouse mod modules, and inter-system cargo links and outposts. That seems like a good one to start with if I want to do outposts, and I do want to do outposts. Manufacturing seems like a something to have. So let's make some adaptive frames. Confirm. 
I have made a thing. My first thing. And if I do that, if I put the thing I just made into outpost development manufacturing, I need uh, two more of the thing. Okay. But it was just the one. How do I increase the quantity? Okay, just two there. Hopefully I can do some of this on my ship. Alright. What? Apparently I, I, I did that. Oh, it used a... I'm not sure what it's doing, actually. I completed it. Does that mean I've got it? Okay, I did the thing. I think you just- I think you can, like, place materials in research stations and leave it there. Take that med pack. It's free. All right. Now I know kind of how crafting works. I'll I'll probably get more familiar with that later. It's worth having a look at now. I need to speak with Sarah if she's here. Oh, she's down here now. Oh God. Okay. I checked there before you went there. Can I sit down yeah. and talk to you? Would that be weird? Shouldn't be. No, I can't sit down and talk to you. Why does it go to third person every time I sit down and stand up? So, Strange. are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Alright, I've... How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I'm not sure about that. I don't what if the whole universe is just a simulation? Can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Alright. So what do you know about the artifacts? Not much, I take it. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Alright. Then, I know what Constellation is. I'm ready. I've gotten settled. I've gotten some stuff done, some side questing completed. Let's get on with the main quest. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. Okay. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. The UC Vanguard. A volunteer force that helps I know what they the are. of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Right. <sighs> Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. Fair enough. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Right. Uh, alright, good. A chance to learn uh, more about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. Uh, alright. It's not just that. 
I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle Are you yourself. asking me to join the the, the vanguard? About us. Is that what you want me to do now? I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Right. <sighs> that seems too cynical to say right now. Even for someone like me. All right, you and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Well, every <laughs> member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? What's your take on moonlighting with UC security, by the by? So you don't care if I steal so long as I don't get caught. I can make that work. I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. Speaking from experience? If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood then. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Way ahead of you there, but let's, uh... Get back to that. I feel I feel good that I've actually had some time to breathe in the city a bit. Right, you're available for my crew. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Okay. How did you know there was an artifact on Victera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Why would you Honestly, say that? He took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Alright. Um, alright. Let's get on now. with it. I don't have any personal questions to ask you. Let's get down to business. You're coming with me, apparently. I hope um, you are satisfied with the- I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I want to bring Vasco along with me as well. Since we're doing this with Constellation, you should be a part of it. How long have you been I a part of Constellation? Along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Dr. Livingstone, Despite I presume? several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Wow. Aged robot. So what do you mean about outpost development? The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. Hmm. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. Uh, I won't try it next time I touch down on the planet. I've got a... I, I'm sure the outposts are going to come down a lot later. I don't have half the resources I need to even start with that. What kind of advanced structures could I build? The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. Sounds like you could really build up a full-scale empire here. Uh, I know how a, uh, if a planet has resources I need, you scan them, I presume, but I'll ask. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, right. although rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. Analyze? You mean vivisect? Uh, I guess it sounds useful to try and make, uh... I guess it, I don't want to say I that because I'm at your service, Captain. I'm not going to try it next time I land on a planet. Captain. I will proceed to my assigned post. 
Okay, yes, I wanted Vasco with me. I did mean to actually say something there. So I can have two crew on my ship. Uh, confirm Vasco's assignment to Frontier. And you're coming with me to Frontier as well. You'll be assigned there. So Sarah Morgan is extremely capable in astrodynamics, quite capable in lasers, reasonably capable in leadership, and okay at botany. Vasco is okay in a neutronic fusion, reasonably good in shield systems, and okay in EM weapon systems. Okay. Current out- okay, so I can send them- and through this I can send them to outposts. When, once I've built some. Alright, let's- I presume you'll come with me when I- when we leave... Uh, Constellation, you'll be hanging around. As my entourage. Hello. No, it's just you. I want Vasco here. You coming? Yeah, you just- oh no, there he is. Hello, Vasco. We're all together. So, where were we going first? I might go quickly speak to our friend. Let's check in on Kelton. Can I? No, I've got to wait. It says later still. I think it'll tell him, tell me to check in on Kelstrom now once I'm done. So let's head to Sarah's contact at the Mast Building. It is a nice place you guys have got here. You know, credit where credit's due. Lovely planet. If you ignore the well. Which most people around here seem to. I haven't been getting up to that much mischief, my if you're worried. Goes long again. My girl is gonna kill me. Oh well. We're just sprinting through the city. It's too bad it takes too long to walk. I think the only game I've ever been able to walk with reasonable comfort is Red Dead Redemption 2. I always walked in towns and cities there. I very rarely ran. You walked or you went on your horse. Hello. <laughs> Vasco's way behind. I don't even know where he is. I can't see him. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. I do actually have official business. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits? Even get your UC citizenship? I'm skeptical of it, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, I know where Vanguard is. Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament, the indignity. If he's on patrol, he could be putting our item at risk. What? <laughs> no. Nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That mm. means it's not going to be fine. I'm yeah, sure you two can quiet as a it. coffin is dramatic irony soul speak for is there is an active planets. shooting war going on in the soul system. We'll be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. Sidonia. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. So, Mars, then, uh, did Marora say where he found this ornament of his? You'll have to ask him, but Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Or something like that. 
What can you tell me about Sidonia? Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. The red planet. Bar in a spaceport. Sounds like home. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Yeah, maybe not in my line of work. All right, Sidonia then. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Sol system doesn't get a lot of traffic. But it's nearby. I mean, we are in Alpha Centauri. Okay. Until later. I don't want to ask her any personal questions. It just seems presumptive at this point. Uh, don't I have to go talk to the embassy? Isn't that something I agree to do? Talk to an embassy diplomat. You could probably help with that. You seem like you know your way around embassies and diplomacy and all that sort of thing. I talked to a Free Star Collective guy, you should probably know about this, and promised to help him get his visa. Do you think I was acting a little above my pay grade? I think the Free Star Collective embassy's over here. Yes, here it is. Sprinting after me. I'm, I'm moving at a reasonable jog. What's keeping you? And then I guess we're going to Mars. Finally, <laughs> get Maybe off this we rock. Stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. We're already past the memorial, Sarah. It's a little late for that. I'm not going back for it. And already, I already did pay my respects. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective, when it seems like only yesterday. Yeah, do you have a problem with the Collective? I know you were a UC soldier, but I did talk to, like, you know... I, I'm i just trying to get a diplomatist visa. I'm not taking sides here. Only those with an appointment are allowed inside the Embassy. You're a diplomat. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I need a visa. Uh, Representative uh, Chisholm. Kissum. Uh, is being held at the spaceport by UC Security. Uh, typical UC Security. They try to bully us every chance they get and still manage to play the victim. I'll get this squared away with the folks down at the spaceport. Thanks for letting us know. Is that it? Alright. You're looking at me strange, Sarah. Hmm. Is that all I had to do? Yeah, that's it. That's that done. Okay. I may have to come back here to Alpha Centauri before I complete this. So I guess that's it. Ask about Morara in Sidonia. Alright. Let's get back to the spaceport and go to Mars. Oh, you're talking to me. Uh, I thought there was a... Station over there, but I'll take the one in the mast. Outland. Uh, that's on the way to the... Ah, there's Galbank. That's the uh, commercial district. So you've got the residential district of, is over there. The embassy district, the... Commercial district. I don't know how to get to the. Official United Colonies. I don't know how to get to the spaceport district on foot here. Hello. We've already spoken. You've said that. Back to the spaceport. I wonder if I can invite her to come along on my ship to join my crew. I know you can invite semi-randos to join up with you. She doesn't seem like the type to do the kind of work I want to be doing. She seems a little too carefree and... <laughs> you know, I just want to go and explore the world with my boyfriend and I'm like... Well, I want to exploit oh, people and make money. Statue. This one. Isn't it? Mm, 
I, I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. I have no idea. Thank you. It's a... Uh... Hi, guys. I don't know. Reaching up, reaching from the earth and water into the depths of space or some other pretentious bullshit like that, who gives a shit? <laughs> I mean, ultimately, projects like that exist to look pretty while people walk past it every day and never look at it. Did our friend get past? It's chemical snippers. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Is there a lot of tension at the moment? I mean, the, the, the scuffle with the diplomat, the, um, t the, the public outcry I've run into, is there, how are the, how are the relations between the Freestyle Collective and the United Colonies right now? You got here ahead of us. That's very enterprising of you, Vasco. Well done. Uh, hello, Vasco. Greetings. Uh, I what personal questions could I possibly here. ask the robot? Uh, let's just board. It not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. That's a weird thing for you to say three seconds of having boarded it. Alright, take your positions. Let's check the navigation console. We have a civilian outpost, an industrial outpost. We could land elsewhere on the, s on the planet. I'm kind of curious about that civilian outpost. Hmm. I'm not quite curious. Oh, go on, let's get distracted. Let's travel to the civilian outpost. I want to see one of the- I want to see somewhere else on this planet. Before I go to Mars. Let's just hop to another part of Jemison. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. All right. Exit ship. This is a civilian outpost. Uh, Apex something. I wouldn't call this an, a civilian outpost, you know. This looks like a patch of the literal middle of nowhere. Are you sure you landed us in the right place? Let me check something. There we go, there's the scanner. It's on F. Unknown, 675 meters away. 400 meters away, there's something. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got something that looks like a thing, a wind, some wind turbines some kind of rock formation. There's nine fauna, eight flora, and five resources. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, outpost eight. I want to put that away. How do I actually scan it? Can I scan this tree? Nope. How do I scan? F oh, there. That's what you scan. Uh, if I get close enough to it, it's a spiral creeper. Press E. I've got 13% scanned. So I need to find more of this. In order to get a full scan. But I have to be close to it. Resource toxin. The more you scan it, the more information you learn about it. 50%. I'm sure there's something nearby. Now, what do we got here? Herding Cutterhead Herbivore. I wouldn't like to be that close to these guys, frankly. They, they're big. Oh no. I can't scan the animals. We got something. I 
A cliff laurel. 13%. I might do more of this out, like, in my own time rather than going around scanning everything constantly. Oh, there we go. This one I can scan. A carasnail scavenger. I'm sure I can get spiral creeper done. There we go. 100%. Uh, biomes, deciduous forest, coniferous forest, genetic standard helix, carbon-based, reproduction, self-cloning. Temperament, peaceful. Good to know. Alright. I'll probably do... If I, if I have, like, scanning, I need to do an outpost and stuff, I might do that in my own time. So I like scanning everything I can get in my hands on, but I don't imagine it would make for very interesting viewing. But these... Axior, energy, wind turbines. I saw some kind of structure over here. But I thought I saw something on top of that. A uh, hill. There's, an a there's more Axior energy. I would expect this place to be a little bit more built up. Frankly, even down here you'd expect... that. There he goes. It looks like some construction. I left a fork left out here. That's what I saw. Some Someone's begun some construction here, but it seems to have been abandoned or it's just not being worked on right now. Forklift. Toxin sap. There's more stuff over here. Something out there. This is what I'm looking at now. Let's have a poke. Is this a ship? It doesn't really look like a ship. That is clearly a ladder. Come on. There we go. I'm up. Oh, it's not enterable. Maybe it's a silo of some description. Get that. I don't know. It's a thing. It's whatever this thing is. Oh. Chlorosolanes. This is used in chip manufacturing, by the way. I think that's a resource node. I don't think you can... I think you need an extractor to harvest that. Can't do that by hand. So if, you, if I were going to build up an outpost... I'd do it near resources like that. And I will do outposts. Not probably on Alpha Centauri or Jemison. Too close to the heart of the United Colonies. I've gone a ways away from my ship. I didn't mean to make this quite such a substantial deviation. Now this looks more like what I was thinking when you said civilian outposts. I'm seeing some solar panels. This might just be an energy plant. Or a mine. Oh god, this is... This has become a whole thing. Mine, mine, mine. Morgan! Gonna make you pay. Hold on, let's switch to my Furious Eon. Can Crimson Fleet? Sarah just walked into that mine. Where are you? I think he's backed off, or he's dead. I think Sarah got him. No. Careful, don't go off on one. They're gone. Yeah, apparently. I think they might have just backed off. One guy just disappeared into the ether. Where did he go? Well, it actually, there's, I mean, look at that, there's a, there's a ship over there. This is a Crimson Fleet outpost, but it seems that whoever we were fighting has just managed to bail. Was that you? Yeah, yeah. Do you, where did it go? Oh, hello. 
Sir, another notch on my gun. He got me a few times. Not too bad, though. He just ran off. I thought he came up here. Some 6.5mm CT, a modified maelstrom. On junk. It's ammunition, moron. I'm allowed to stock up on that at the very least. Let's use a med pack. Wasn't going to hit him with my pistol from out there. Uh, caseless shotgun shells. More seven. A Grendel. Hmm. Uh, I need the zero wire. That's useful. Empty drink pack. Okay. Well, that was an interesting encounter. See, what I'm looking at up here. Put this away. Nah. There is some kind of silo over there. What, what looks like a fairly major facility. Can I zoom in? Ah, oh, mouse suit to go into photo mode at least. And a ship. Landing area, deserted UC listening post. Is that what this is? Oh, we can go inside. Probably weapons ready here. Pirates. What are they looking for? Come on, peek. I don't have a lot of ammo for this. That's a rescue axe. Hello, someone's behind you. Oh! What was that? I think I shot him in the friggin' jetpack. Someone else. Come on. Dealt with. Med pack. Reload. There's another one of you. God, this is actually... Quite a... Like, area. You've got a solstice. That might be a weapon I can use. Let's have a look at that. That time I meant to hit I. And of course I pressed anything else. Solstice, ah, it's a laser pistol. Not worth it. Oh, I'm using the wrong Equinox. I forgot to reset that. I was wondering why it wasn't holding down. Let's try the modified Equinox. That's the one I wanted to be testing. Can I pick some more laser ammunition for this gun? Med pack. Various modified maelstroms. I want to clear this area out. I heard one more voice back there. There, there you are. Hello, I want to try my new gun on you. Wait, what was that? there was a shot going into your back. Hello. Here. Here. Jesus Christ, this thing. Uh, I don't have enough ammo for that. Hello. It, are you? Where'd you go? No. Okay, I don't have enough 
ammunition in my laser gun anymore. So let's... Sorry, not ammo. Weapons, there we are. Did I have something else? I can try this, the solstice. The suppress side cell probably wouldn't be good for this situation. Really low on laser. What does this use again? Oh, it doesn't tell you. Wonderful. Oh no, there we go. 3 kV laser. 3 kilovolt laser. Uh, I don't have much really for range, so I guess I stick with my maelstrom. That's you. Down. Jesus. Find anything useful? More. This is. You're the boss. Grenade, I think. Where are you? Oh, what was that? Uh. Oh, Christ. I think if you shoot their boost packs, they explode. Let me get those headshots. You've got a solstice, I think. Damn it, I missed. If I keep shooting at you, one of these is gonna hit you. This gun does not aim where I'm pointing it. Anti-ballistic space trucker pack. That's probably why you were so heavily. Let's use a med pack, by the way. I'll take a look at that. What is it? I think it's a, well, obviously a pack. Basic boost pack. Minus 15% for incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. How much? Not sure how much better it is, actually. Didn't think there'd be a whole bloody... Oh, a liquid-cooled star aroma pack. Unique. Take that ammo. There's, there's still around here. There's still people. I should have actually taken a nap. There's some laser cartridge. I think this uses up too much ammo for the way I'm getting it. Where are you? I heard another voice. This keeps going. I'm gonna get lost. Watch out, Sarah. They keep saying that. And they keep not being out of here. This facility just keeps going. I keep running into pirates who want to kill me. God damn it. I got that. Yeah, here we go. Take it fire. Now I can speak with Kelton Frush. Freaking cover. That. Down. There's one more. You. Come on. Another grenade, I think. Using a lot of those. Why do you keep refilling? That's it. The white bar on the top seems to continually 
refill. That's very annoying. Uh, I've got... I'm running low on ammunition for everything. Oh, move! God, I just got stuck there for a second. I really didn't want to do that. Okay, you were the, probably the boss here. I have no idea. There are a lot of very powerful people here. Take those credits. Case okay, so of shotgun shells. Attack. That's a shotgun. That's a bashing coachman. Alright, I am clearly a little bit, uh, uh... Not quite as... Powerful as I might be. I'm alive, but I used pretty much all of my grenades. I'm hoping I'll pick some more up. That's a Kraken machine pistol. Uh, is that everyone around here, for the love of God? Let it be. Ooh, that's a rapid coachman. Caseless shotgun shell, heart plus, iron isotropic coolant, a weapon case. Ah, uh, Grendel. I just picked up another upgrade to my coachman. In comparison, I can sell this one. So let's uh, swap that out and we'll sell this. I'm already approaching my thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm much like the modified Equinox. It's useful in certain situations, but it also goes through an ammo I don't have a lot of. Uh, I'm just going to test fire this. Oh, expert. This lock is too difficult. Alright. Yeah. There was another thing I picked up. I think it was a pack. Uh, minus 15 en incoming en energy damage. Liquid cooled. Plus 25 thermal resistance. Basic boost packs. Alright. I'll probably get rid of the other pack I picked up. If I can find someone to sell it to. Let's pick up ammunition. Whew. That was eventful. I know how a double barrel shotgun works. But, uh. It's square. It just. That, I don't know why the square double barrel kind of makes me feel weird. Emergency cuttable wall. Alright. Why? I don't know. Star locked board game. Food tray. Neva's Directive. I didn't need, mean to pick up that weapon. I don't need another Maelstrom. Okay, okay. Uh, how do I drop? There we go. I don't know how, to, how I would, like, literally go about properly looting this place. I saw this. Cosmetic and Argon. Laser cartridge. Caliber. Oh, wait. This is security level advanced. Maybe I shouldn't be fucking with this sort of thing. That one. No. Followed by that one would get me through this section. one. That yeah, would get me through there. There. And there. And that apparently gets me through. There must be something they don't want us to find. Well, uh, I'm glad I unlocked it. That said advanced, but it just takes a bit of, like, thinking about it to get through. Modified Grendel. I haven't used the Grendel yet. Maybe I should pick one up and try it out. I might have one, actually. I think I sold my last one. 
I'm at 110 mass. I'm gonna have to get back to my... There's nothing in here. Ship. I'm gonna have to get back to my ship and off offload stuff. Manufactured component. I suppose I'll take that. There's nothing in here. Nothing particularly impressive. Staple guns. A circuit board, perhaps. Nothing I can... What was that? A chair. I can sit in the chair in the server room. Iso-centered magnet. That might be very useful. That, that that might Those might be very useful components. I wouldn't know. You kind of hyped that up a bit more than it probably ought to have done. Alright. I guess you just head to the back rooms and find those big crates. That seems to be where the lootable stuff is. Let's take your credits. And your ammunition. Let's make sure I'm looting these guys for their stuff. Synthetic foam container. Credits. Alright, we'll just sweep loot on the way out. That's a toxin. That could be useful. So this is... This is this is clearly one of the procedurally generated facilities this game generates. When you land anywhere on a planet, it generates an area around your ship and a bunch of stuff inside of it for you to do. Clearly this is one of them. So there's going to be things like manufactured materials and resources and whatever in here, but there's not going to be anything story or like lore or anything in here, it's just stuff. I'm guessing. Mind you, this place is larger than I thought it'd be. Maybe it's because this was a... Maybe this facility is so large Don't because... Any of that behind. You were annoyed with me picking stuff up earlier. Now you're all in favor of it. I'm gonna have to figure out precisely what I should be picking up. Like, I don't think a pill bottle is gonna be much worth it. Space trucker flannel. Someone's posters. What was I saying? Yeah, because I think this is a notable location on Jemison. I think that might be why there's a substantial pirate base around here. Technician space truck assignment. I probably should be wearing my suit for this, frankly. Out of order. Unlock advanced safe. No digi picks. Oh, I got frag grenades back. Good. Uh, those fragmentation mines might be useful. I don't know. Why would I use a fragmentation mine and not a fragmentation grenade? Unless, of course, I'm trying to, you know, set up minefield ahead of me. I'm gonna need more digi picks soon. Chunks chicken. Sniper. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think there's going to be much more. This is a much larger area than I expected, though. Got a bit of good stuff from that. Let's get back to the ship. I think I've... I think I've got to get to Mars. God, that was... <laughs> there was a labyrinth in there. I wasn't expecting. There's probably other stuff like that around here. But, I now have a shotgun. Yeah. I gotta find storage on my ship to put stuff away I don't immediately need. I'm gonna have to sort through my inventory. And then it's onwards to the old solar system.